but what else? So we had to do that. So yeah. yesterday I went up and down my stairs like 30 times. That was exhausting. That's, Carrying little trees. That's good for your uh, mental health. Mental health. Anyway, hi everybody. Welcome to oh. uh, <laughs> Lost Lore Academia. Um, <laughs> I like to, I got, they tell me to go pre, they help me go live without telling them. So that's what we did today. Um, that was actually a super short, it's one of our shortest ever um, pre-lives. Like pre-lives. Well, I think that's because you were afraid I would say something weird, <laughs> which... Reasonable. You know what? Honestly, I did get worried. Yeah. I suddenly said, you know what? I might have unleashed. I might have awoken this sleeping giant loosed upon the world. Um, how is everyone doing tonight? Great. Wonder, mm, totally super. I wonder how the king is doing tonight. What merriment is the king pursuing tonight? Camelot. There you go. Um... I'm very excited for tonight's game. I think that we had a um, we had a pretty big week uh, this past week, uh, kind of in our downtime. We did one of our first totally sort of bespoke downtimes where we introduced some temporary new activities, and you guys made interesting use of them. Um, people got people got fun, different degrees of kind of like weird and creative with what they with how they described their attempts. Um, and uh, we're kind of going to go through what of that sort of, you know, basically how stuff went down. Um, I'm plugged in right now with these headphones, which makes it harder for me to, like, bend out of frame because I got, I'm trying to, uh, I got, uh, really. yeah, plug in, daddy. Okay. Stop with the daddy stuff, guys. Come on. Um, <laughs> daddy. Let's, let's open up. You can push it. We're thir oh, 13 today. Ooh, how Maybe fortuitous and auspicious. Maybe I should not open it and wait for, for a You could, I'm skip all, you could do 14 and do 13 on slot. Friday. That is also Ooh, that's true. Well, now I'm really mad I didn't do that because I just opened 13 like that. Oh. But have you looked at it yet? Yeah, you could stuff yes. it back in. <laughs> no, I've seen it. Well, we Put haven't. the genie back. Yeah. I, I'm not, I can't, I can't. Just huck it. It's a percentile with a uh, swirling nebula. I like that one. I like it a lot. Listen, guys, the other thing is, I do like it a lot. Um, I Maybe like the Swirling like Nebula stands for something. Also, conveniently, uh, it is a matching pair here. Ooh. Of Swirling Nebula D100. So if anybody ever wants to roll those, here, roll that. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, that's reasonable. Uh, 61, great roll. Thank you. Close. Okay, guys, come on. <laughs> They said close because they were talking about sixty nine because they're children. Oh. Um, so. Uh, okay, it was not they. It was just me. That's fair, actually. But Dan was. <laughs> I could feel Dan wanted it. Uh, <laughs> so everybody, um, in this past week, you guys did some uh, some looking into one professor. Indeed. Professor Davies. Largely because uh, rather than just allowing this game to proceed along a normal pace, Medina just insists on not trusting him all session, every session. So we finally decided to take action outside of outside of class. Um, Everything is still fine. I really God, <laughs> just Doug's, Doug's, Doug's. I like the idea that Doug spent like all week with him, and he's like, "No, he seems chill. It's fine. It's all good. He's okay. <laughs> like a good guy. In my game, um, it's great." Yeah. So there were some numerical benchmarks. Mm -hmm. um, for these things. I will tell you that you you hit, basically, my numerical benchmarks are always so hard to figure out what they're going to be because they're always fives, basically. So um, you got 16 incidences of digging up dirt on the professor, which is giving you three benchmarks on him. And you got, you got six incidences of studying the Aeneid. However, of those six incidences, two of them were, I think three of them were just, were just Dan literally reading the Aeneid, um, which, uh, and I sort of explained to Dan, that was a, that I, I did give him double. So he was getting, he was generating inspiration because he was literally reading the Aeneid in real life, but he also was getting the, the study the Aeneid points from, from the, uh, from the game. So you did that three times. However, the other two were focused not only on the Aeneid, but on Dido and Aeneas, a, an opera. 
uh, one of the early English language operas by Purcell. Um, so that's actually going to factor into things a little bit. So you guys got basically one one click into that and three clicks into the professor. So um, you also have uh, you have developed one character who's ready to go, another lore master, which will bring your lore master total uh, to four, four master. Um, that will give you a, uh, a lore master from top flight, blue moon, blood from a stone, and with this fourth one. Also, uh, wherever he's from. Gray in the dark, I can speak. Don't you worry about me. Um, so, with these sort of parameters in mind, um, I think, I don't know, I think, are we ready to maybe jump into this? Get things going? It might be. Let's do it. Great. So, um, class has been in session now for a couple of weeks. Um, it is a, it is a rainy night as you guys arrive at Hampstead Hall. Um, Nova is not here tonight. Um, the ghost once again told her to stay away. Which some of you wonder if that's just like, like there might be an episode of TV she wants to watch and she just uses that as an excuse, we're not sure. Um, but in any event, since um, I'm her roommate, I can vouch that no, there is not TV she is watching. <laughs> you guys are roommates. <laughs> uh, oh my god, they were roommates. But Pretty once cute. you leave, it turns it on. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like a blurry screen and a ghost talks to her. I could also, yeah, I could really see Nova just like staring at a blank, at like a, like a, like a, a snow, like a snow TV. <laughs> just yeah. turn that would say, creep me out. And just go, I love this show. Um, so, um, as you guys are sort of heading into, um, as you guys are heading up to the building, uh, is there any business anyone wants to care of, any conversations anyone wants to have amongst yourselves before you begin entering those, those halls? No. <laughs> So Medina says no, and upon seeing like Doug and Connor about to talk, she just like snaps. At them oh, sorry. And gestures them in. <laughs> Me on my behalf, I do not. Understood. Um, everyone good in that case. Apparently, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I didn't see y'all. I met me. No, no, it's perfect. Um, it's big news to share, but it's fine. <laughs> Was it anything past the professor's an okay guy? No, we won the big game. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Oakshire. Go Oakshire. Yeah, Good beat job. the rival. What's the team called? The Acorns? Oh. Uh, I don't actually, wait, I think I know that, hold on. I think I decided on this. I like the Acorns, that's cute. The Squirrels. Squirrels, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, um... oh. <sighs> That's weird, but it is. Uh, I think a guy trying to skate in like a big old round acorn costume is a lot funnier than a guy in a squirrel costume. So I'm voting acorn. But what if, what if there's two mascots and one is an acorn and one is a squirrel? Yes. Um, I'll allow it. As long no, as there's I, an acorn ice skating during the game, I'm, I'm, really, it's fine. Really and then like you have the people dress up like an acorn and the squirrel chases them just like Henry's puppy tacos in San Antonio. And then, and, oh, and, and one of the one of the students I can cheer is get that nut, get that <laughs> nut. <laughs> Um, I am looking, so I, there is a name for the, um, there is a name for the, uh, for the, uh, for the thing, but I, I went with a, an Ivy League style, really boring and weird naming convention. Oh, but that's fun. Uh, where it's basically, it is the Tyrion, because that's like the shade of purple that is the Oakshire mascot. So like the Harvard Crimson and like the big green or like a, like the, like it's just how, green wave. Yeah, like they're all just like colors because they're just uncreative northeast jackoffs. I don't whatever. Anyway, point being, um, they were called the Tyrion, but we can say there is an acorn mascot. How about that? Yes. And right. a squirrel. 
There's an acorn and a squirrel. I feel like you the acorn, the acorn is like the official mascot, and then students wear squirrel costumes. No, the official, the official mascot is the Tyrion, but they, they, the, the dressed like, like, like the, the team is called the Tyrion, and they just wear purple. Right, but like, like the mascot, like you can't just have like someone just like, what are you gonna do? Like someone in like a purple toga? Like, I guess purple that would be Ivy League, but like, yeah, purple acorn. I mean, I will say right. my high school's mascot was gondolier, and we did have a guy in a full-on mascot suit that was just a guy that was a gondolier. It was absurd, but people loved it. So you could totally just have a guy. Was in... there a head on top of his head? Yeah. Like the, like when people have like a weird like pilgrim, so it's just like a, a weird... Yeah, it, it's often, it's upsetting when the mascot is a, is a human. Yeah. I mean, I Nebraska has that. We got yeah. Herbie Husker, baby. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so, Doug, as Doug announces to you all, that he is, um, as Doug announces that his team is one. <coughs> you guys find yourselves walking up to Hampstead. Um, there's a figure standing in the door. Is it the professor? It is the professor. Uh, he's, um, he's, uh, he sort of, like, nods to you all. Uh, hello, everyone. It's, uh, Wonderful to see you all tonight. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited for whatever it is, uh, whatever it is we're going to do. Um, I don't want to rush you, but uh, but we, um, you know, I, I'm. It does. Mo has said there are more pages, so it looks like perhaps there is another uh, another character that you can summon if you're ready to. But again, I don't want to ru rush you at all. I, I I only want you all to. To just experience this, uh, the learning of this. There is a quality to him right now that is, um, he seems, he seems sort of nervous. There's a bit of desperation almost the way he's talking. Um, Medina. Does he reek of booze? Make a smell roll using your vitality for that skill. <laughs> for the skill. The skill of smell. Me. To be fair, we did hit the bottle pretty hard yesterday. It was yesterday, I would hope. I mean, if after, to celebrate after a game, you could say that it just makes sense. <laughs> Two sixes, great. Yes. I mean, um, that is geometry. Geometry. Um, so, with a sort of, you know, getting a perspective, we'll say that's helpful in this circumstance, uh, you don't really scent any booze on the professor. And in fact, so this is why we had a lot of fun with saying what our various activities were. Some of them sort of happened, you know, maybe somebody got on a moped. I don't know that any moped based surveillance really worked out. Um, I don't know that the professor uh, would have had any alcohol with uh, underage students. Um, so the whole whiskey bottle plan was probably just a, a uh, okay, so he didn't take whiskey from minors. Got it. Um, <laughs> But we still drink the whiskey. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Um, but uh, in any event, there has been an overall... Um, uh, he does not appear to be intoxicated. And... I'll leave it there for now. Um, but you don't scent any alcohol on him. And he seems to be sort of like, perhaps even a little bit better groomed than he had been. Almost as if, you know... He noticed 16 incidences of students uh, following him around or or inviting him to hockey games or, uh, you know, uh, going through his trash. He might not have noticed the trash. The point is, there was a lot of activity. Calling up his old, uh, you know, calling up previous uh, employments, looking into disciplinary records, firm but fair. Um, so uh, he seems on a, in a certain certain mode here. Um, now, for dramatic effect, we're saying that whatever information you've all chosen, since nobody put it into the group chat, maybe not wanting to leave a digital paper trail, I get it. Um, you have not compared notes yet on what it is you've learned. Um, so he's, uh, but he's kind of just saying, so yes, please, uh, if you're, um, I don't want to get in your way. I, I just, uh, very excited for whatever, whatever it is you, you, uh, you continue doing here. It's, uh, it's important work. It's just important work, that's all. Of Thanks. course, Professor, yeah. Yeah. 
he kind of steps aside. You guys can head in. Mo kind of nods at you and gestures, uh, you know, into one of the side rooms. It, it's kind of the room where Mo often like brings the new books that have arrived. He shows you some pages that have sort of you know spontaneously been transcribed, waiting in there. Only only one sort of stack of them today for one character. Um, but the professor's just kind of you know milling around. Sorry, Mo is or the character is? The professor is milling the around. The professor is milling professor around. Professor Davies is sort of milling around present. All right. Uh, do we have like any, I look at Mo, like is there anything new that's popped up since we were here last time? Yes, uh, it seemed a lot of you were, um, had been looking into this one character, uh, um, this uh, very bizarre, Bethan Afa, very strange name. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I'm sure they think your name would be strange, but that's well, fine. Well, I suppose that's true, because... This character is going to sort of appear. Um, and then from behind you, Medina, you hear, and we're ready to take care of him. Okay. Yep. Good evening, everyone. Hi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wednesday, I know, I know last week we talked about, like, Thank baking you. a lot of them, yeah. and we could see if we ate a ton, and then when we left, we didn't feel full. Yes, sir. Thanks. She's like, there's just like, there's like a whole additional tray of them on the on the table. Um, we stand like three. And, and uh, we have told Miss Tatiana Temple that she cannot conduct such aggressive orientations any longer. <laughs> Thank you. She did not listen to us. Okay. No. Yes. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually, yeah. Um, in any case, yes, you have this book on Beth and Aetha. This will cost 300 inspiration. If you guys wish to do that now, you certainly can. End it. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Could, is, is there, is... I don't want to risk um, anyone's grade, especially mine, but um, the professor, it just feels really bad to me. Um, now, everything he, he says. He is it. present. Uh, if you if you want to <laughs> take everyone aside, you can continue. That like like he would not. If you guys walk into another room, he's not going to just follow you in. So if you'd like to go into another room, you guys can. Mm. So I'm so sorry. Continue that. Just Thank confirming. You. Yes. Yes. Okay. My our our biology professor is being really weird. <laughs> um, ma, uh, Medina, could you uh, join me to the left? Uh, real, real yeah. Quick? Yes. Um, it, are we out of? Your... Yes, okay. right, but all of these students have gone, or just Medina. Um, I pulled Medina, but anyone's welcome. It's no secret, uh, except from the one person who was able to hear among you. <laughs> um, I was just wondering if, like, before we get any more people, if maybe we could just uh, strike a little? Like, maybe we say oh. we won't bring any more people in until he tells us what's going on, or... Um, or maybe we could say the uh, characters won't let us continue until everyone takes a lie detector test or whatever you think. No, I definitely think we need to take a stand and I think not researching characters and definitely not summoning them will get his attention, so. He definitely (laughs) seemed like he really needed us to bring in some people today, so maybe. I think that's a solid idea. Is wait, did people follow us? Are y'all here? Are y'all Allie here? did not. She will not go somewhere well, if someone yeah, doesn't I mean, tell if her to. Only pulled it inside Medina now. Eating okay. my buns. Okay. <laughs> hey, guy, y'all, come here. Yep. The professor does that thing of like, oh, not, okay, <laughs> just steps back for the. Yep. Frankie has a really good point. Go on. If we don't, if we want to figure out what the professor actually wants from us, we need to stop doing what he's asking us to do. We're the only people who can summon these characters, and that's what he wants the most. So we shouldn't summon any more until he tells us what the hell is going on. I do. I mean, collective bargaining does work. Of what would encourage him to tell the truth versus some lie or the same lie he's been telling us this whole time that it's just name of research. Well, then we don't do the research. Like, you mean, how do we know what he says will be true? Yeah, I mean, 
he would he would likely either say uh, what he's been saying, which is, oh, it's just all in the name of research and to see what happens, or um, the smart thing to do would to be lie to cover up another lie or the bigger lie, or you know, so he would make up something else entirely that may not even be true. Maybe, um, or he has nothing to hide at all. <laughs> okay. He seems. Look at him. He's yeah. all cleaned up. You we'll, know. We'll circle back to that. Um, <laughs> but I kind think the maybe Bible. <laughs> yeah. If even if he continues to try and lie, he doesn't seem to be the best liar. Maybe someone who's skilled at detecting that kind of thing could press him until it feels at least like he's telling more of the truth than he is at this moment. Are there any characters that would be able to assist us with that? Ooh. Um, why don't you do a... Uh... Huh. I'd like for Medina, on that point, I would actually like for you to do, or you can ask one of your, your, your fellows to, to attempt mm. a, det- uh, like a, a read person. But I also want, does anyone here have a four in detect vibe? It's under will. Just three. Three. Kelly is weak willed. In our base <laughs> one? In your base sheet, just you standing here. I have uh, three. That's a, that's a three. Uh, that's a real bummer, because uh, cause, cause you girl Nova has four. Um, okay, those of you who have three, could you all just give me a, a, a roll on that? Give it a shot. So yeah, roll three, three D8s. And hope. I got two ones. You got two ones. Okay, cool. No matches. Two, two threes. Hmm. Two ones. You had three as well. Okay, great. Um, so I will say that I dropped one. That wait, that was in your read person, Medina. Yes. Um. Oh, but I also have three in vibe. Uh, you were you were sort of thinking about something else while they were there. Okay. just kind of a, a thing. Um, I will say that sort of Connor and Doug do kind of get based on sort of the way everyone's talking and sort of quietly and just the fact that you guys are talking about this person. It might not now might be a good opportunity that you're all alone away from the professor to share the information that you've dug up about him and the Indian. Yeah, well, well, well and, <clears throat> you know, and as so I said, well, here's what I figured out about how the idea might tie into this, and okay, so um, on the uh, do you want the Aeneid information first? All right. I mean, we got less. Sure, it's a it's a it's a shorter thing, but I'm going to give you. It's kind of a similar. It's a it's an interesting thing about the Aeneid. Um, the Aeneid is a um, is considered a a. a a, a political work. It is not. It is not sort of a natural myth. It was constructed, and the author of it, Virgil, had a goal, which was basically to to add further legitimacy to Caesar Augustus. Um, it was sort of composed during his reign, and sort of everything about it is to tie Augustus to the noble lineage of Troy kind of to say, ah, there's this direct line that goes from noble Aeneas who fled from noble Troy that was destroyed by those, those pesky Greeks and kind of to, to create this, you know, fated noble lineage for him, which is an interesting thing. But because you, you dear people with your attending of the opera, which we're saying is playing at the Boston Lyric Opera right now, um, um, that basically for, and then, and then Callie, you went and had coffee with, uh, with one of the actors that had given some of your family connections. And also the eccentric expert at the museum the day before. That is also, oh, did you, oh yeah, that's why you guys had six. Okay, cool, cool. Yes, you did three studies and then, okay. So, um. Six, not, oh, okay. I. Six. Sorry, misheard whoa. that. I am sorry. Well, I mean, Kelly probably could have fit it into her weekend. I'm not sure with who, but like, it, there was definitely some kind of time. Always fitting it in. Um, so, um, <laughs> put it in the chat, y'all. Um, the point <laughs> being, Dido and Aeneas is a story uh, focusing on one section of the Aeneid, where uh, Aeneas sort of falls in love with Dido, the queen of Carthage, 
and apologies to everyone who doesn't care about all the sort of classical history. But, um, it's a tragedy about how he sort of, like, deserts her. Um, she winds up taking her own life after singing one of the more famous English language arias of all time. Um, that play by Purcell was kind of considered also sort of allegorical and political in nature. Um, sort of casting um, Aeneas as a king at present uh, who was abandoning the British people, sort of as they were saying. They were sort of trying to like, kind of like justify this. And, a, and there is actually a major change from the Aeneid and Dido and Aeneas in which in the Aeneid, it is actually Mercury who tells him, you must leave her and go on to to found Rome, whereas in the opera, it is a sorcerer who pretends to be Mercury and tricks him into leaving. So the point being, the the upshot of this, the, the sort of thing you guys have learned, is that this is a story that is often used for propaganda. It's a story that is retold in different ways and is used by the people to sort of try to justify actions, excuse actions, try to bring people together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is what you've learned of the Aeneid. That's what this stream is, everybody. It's it's a it's a classical literature, classical poetry, and spreadsheeting. Spreadsheeting. Oh, yeah, um, so, as for the professor himself, the professor has a reputation of being very eccentric, of having um, very passionate views <coughs> about um, ancient poetry. And having written so eloquently, kind of when he was like sort of coming up, um, that he is kind of considered a an, a a a real force of nature. His, I mean, you guys who have attended his classes, um, he seems very interested in all folklore. He's very interested in pop culture and in folklore of all sorts of countries. But his his mastery of writing about the Iliad and the Aeneid is really what sort of. Um, kind of launched him into this large status. That is the first level of information that you gained. It is that mm -hmm. though he has a mastery of stuff, it is specifically those works where he has this preternatural um, sort of kind of just like presence when he speaks about them, dazzling all who listen. The second bit of information is that there seemed to be a change in this man that happened around 25, 30 years ago, lining up roughly with when? Like 1985? That's not what I was thinking, but hold on. That's interesting. When no, no, place? absolutely not. Wait, what? I don't understand what's happening. <gasps> I, you know I'm what? Yes. Everything's not fine. <laughs> 1985. You know, hold. Actually, everyone, I need I need 30 seconds to make sure I can do this. I need you know this, KJ. more vocality. You know this. I I, you know, I don't understand. You were there. You were there. Well, we had to I go was... back there. We we were forced to examine this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never would have gotten that. Oh, okay. <sighs> this is gonna make him older than I was intending him to be. messes with his age a little bit but let's it's a fun little grace note yes 1985 <laughs> what a good call Dan Ugh. the story is being written as we speak <laughs> this is a top flight reference right I did I did yes. get yes. to the right yeah, spot yeah. okay yeah all right the story that he told you about meeting Aeneas took place in the year 1985, as far as you can tell. People felt there was a rather radical shift in him. He actually took a few years away from academia at that point. He was considered a bit odd when he sort of returned. Um, and uh, he was sort of away from the school, then he sort of came back, and uh, and that's when he began sort of speaking so eloquently, and he soon um, rose very quickly through the ranks to uh, 
his speech changed? Um, his, his speech changed to some extent. Yes, his, his sort of, his, 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 his vibe changed. People said, oh yeah, I remembered that guy back when he was here. Then he suddenly left in 85. And like when he came back in 86 or 87, he was, he was like a much kind of a different guy. He seemed sort of odd. Um, that being said, the last level of information is that there is a large history of him engaging in the very strange behaviors. Um, nothing, nothing where the firm but fair board would have like taken real action against him. I think most people chalk him up to being eccentric. He's never really threatening, but he will occasionally, uh, he, uh, he does, there is a notable thing of him, sort of he drinks more than he should, but never during class, which makes it a little more confusing where it's like you guys are doing this extracurricular night thing where he's often been drunk. He's usually not drunk like for lectures, for example. Um, he has a somewhat habit of sometimes just missing lectures suddenly, um, oftentimes just traveling kind of like on a strange whim. Um, but there's a, there's definitely a weird vibe to him. Mm. Um, and he has a record of kind of eccentric behavior, which the school accepts because, you know, of like, of that TED talk he gave. Go ahead, Callie. I mean, I guess there's no real way to know. It's impossible. I mean, he never went into the elevator, never went into a dungeon or any or a uh, dream world or anything, right? Or so he says. I mean, does, we go into the dream world and like characters get into our heads. Is it possible that Aeneas just went into his head and never left? And that's no longer really the professor. That's just Aeneas this whole time. Is that a thing? I mean, I suppose it's possible. I mean, he could have also, assuming that this happens here, there's no reason to assume it doesn't happen anywhere else like he very possibly could have found some other weird thing going on did his um like more famous aeneid writings come after 85 or before after so the man had a midlife crisis got a little eccentric and we're all he was very, he was younger. He was actually pretty darn young when that all happened, but yeah. No. Quarter life crisis. Quarter yeah. life crisis. This is crazy like if quarter he was in grad crisis. school, like 25, right? <sighs> Let's Maybe see. 24, he 23? I guess actually, yeah, he could have been born in like, okay, yeah, no, 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 it still tracks. Yeah, he was born in like, God, if he was born in. Like 1960 or something. Yeah, like or like like fifty eight, fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. He's in. He's in. Like he's in. He's in his sixties at this point. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Yeah, he could be born in fifty five even. Okay, that yeah. This all honestly, eighty five attracts. It's great. Eighty five. I don't know if I like this or hate this. Um, I look. Um, yeah. We can't, I mean, we can't, we can't confirm anything. We can't rule anything out right now. All that we have is our ability to summon characters. So he might lie, but we can see what he says. Or hear me out. Oh, Doug. <laughs> Go ahead. We summon the new characters. We go in the purple world and we wail on some beasts and some diamond things and don't you we do have that some fun. enough in hockey? Do you do you need to take out more aggression? I don't have superpowers. I mean, I kind of do. But also, you don't. Some have... say I do, but not really on the ice. Oh, I, I have never heard that. But you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to actually mean it. Um, yes, you know, we can still do your whaling thing. Well, we'll circle back to that too. But. Mm -hmm. To the professor, you just have to pretend that you're not going to. Ah. We can summon the characters anytime, and we can keep researching them. We just won't bring them in. In the meantime, did I have any results on which characters <laughs> would be good for... Um... Yes. 
I'm trying to find if there's an option that isn't this, but yes, it's it weird. isn't this. No, it's just it's it's um uh yeah, it it would be it would be Tatiana Temple. I figured. What about the inside man? You know, here's the thing about, about the inside. Fucking no. Here, here's the thing about the interior man. The inside man. <laughs> The, inter what, the interior man is probably very unnerving and can get into some heads, but his his the powers he grants are much more sort of combat based, whereas the powers that Tatiana grants are I mean it's just like ton hella will. Um, the only other person who is not good specifically at read person but would maybe could read the vibe uh, amusingly is the wellness sprite. Yeah, she could. Uh, she could be Detect well. Detect vibe. She could. She could. She could take a vibe on the man if you wanted her to. Well, I mean, I feel like we can, as bad as he has been at this, I feel like we can detect vibe. I would rather know something a little more specific. Or, or whatever everyone thinks. Well, we can just have Tatiana on standby. Mhm. Mm mhm. You, she likes you, and I hope you know that. I don't know that she likes anyone really. I, I feel like. Well, I mean, of all of us, she like. She likes her, she likes, she least likes us the most. I don't think, I don't think she notices us, I don't. And she I don't, least... I don't think we even register as, as existing to her, I think. I think Frankie's the only one that registers. That, that is true. And, you know, she, 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 she has high hopes for you, Frankie. So, so this is an opportunity, if you want to, you know, ha have, have some approval from her. I'm oh. sure she would be so proud of you to see you be authoritative, be assertive, ask questions. It'll be a good opportunity yeah. if you want. Yeah. If you don't, okay. No, I, I, um, the quest for approval really drives most of my actions. So that, that lines up. Um, <laughs> I, I would need some note cards and um, maybe just a week or two of study. Uh, we have two minutes, and I'll, I'll like rifle through my bag and pull up. I, I mean, I'm assuming we kind of all would have note cards. You can have note cards, but that's fine. I'll, yeah. I'll hand her some note cards. There you go. You can look. Yeah, she's a Tatiana Temple is a massive asset that we can use right now, and I think it's be yeah bad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if we did. It'd be suboptimal if we didn't. Speaking of, <laughs> I'm gonna look around and say Wednesday. She she knocks twice at the door. Oh God! I never know where she goes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, can I you? I did not follow you in, Miss, and I was not dropping eaves, only to listen to my own name for being called, which I heard and nothing else, Miss. Thank you. Um, can you or the uh, wellness sprite uh, ask Tatiana to join us? She kind of just looks over at the wellness sprite, and nods and maybe does like a. And the wellness sprite in the distance goes. And then flies full bodied at the button. Does she get it on her first try? Does Wednesday do the be well back? Never. Uh, the wellness sprite gets it on her first try and the elevator goes and she, she flies in. Good for her. And uh, so yeah, uh, Tatiana will be here in a couple minutes. How old is the professor? Uh, we are saying he is 68 years old. 68 years young. These days. Yeah. With the way he drinks, probably not. Yeah. Does he look really old? Hey, he's got the he's got the liver of an eighty nine year old, but he, the heart of an eighty nine year old. Of an eighty nine yeah. year old. Uh, he, yeah, he, he he looks he looks how people usually think a sixty eight year old should look, not how the the crazy Hollywood sixty eight year olds look these days. Tom Cruise uh, is sixty three, right? Uh, should we brainstorm some questions to ask or I, I think so how about we start with we know you're hiding something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, or maybe not the full on direct accusing yeah, route accusatory, maybe kind of accusatory and attacking is usually yeah. the best way to get someone to clam up we are his only hope for summoning these characters. He doesn't really have 
any leverage on us. Maybe, Parades kick yeah. us out of school. Well, maybe. maybe off the uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sick. No, that's that's all. Um, that, yep. Maybe we could start off saying like, um, whatever kind of bind you're in, we're on your side and we will help you. But um, uh, help us help you. I don't know. We, we oh, frame it as we, to be we honest. It, we frame it as needing to know more about what is going on, so that we can more effectively do whatever we need to do while we're up there. Click, click. That's fair. Click, 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 clack, click. Ask clack, about his click, research. Clack, click, clack. Wednesday opens the door, and Tatiana Temple stands there. You rang, darlings. Hi, Tatiana. I'll Frank, elbow Frankie. <laughs> Frankie wanted to talk to you. Hello. You tall. <laughs> you have my attention, darling. Thank you. Um, we were going to re requ uh, require, demand that you uh, help us with something, please. How terrifying. What is it you need my assistance with? That you'd rather demand I help you than simply ask? How do you feel about the professor? I have no feelings about him, darling. He's beneath my notice. I figured him out from the moment we walked in. Um, what the, what is it that you figured out? Specifically. That entirely depends, my answer would depend on how it is you contextualize the man. If he's someone you're trying to get grades from, simply perform whatever work he requires of you. He is your instructor, and he seems skilled when it comes to matters classic. Would you like to see him squirm? I'd like to see everyone squirm. I'm a villain, aren't I? Perfect. <laughs> um, um, Callie would like to tell you the rest, because I'm tired of this with you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, the classics? We know he has an affinity for the Aeneid, but what have you picked up on? That's l that's <laughs> literally the classics. That's the he's that's the, the professor for the Aeneid is like he's one of the classics corners. major. Classics. No, I know, but is something specific or just that he he knows about those things? She looks at you, and she kind of stares you very deeply, Medina, and then says, <laughs> "Right." Somehow you are more deplorable than I. This one wants to be a lawyer. Disgusting. No culture is the slightest. Yes, I Callie. Have, I'm just pre-law. It's I'm not. All ears. It's not a firm commitment. I'm all ears, Miss Callie. I um yes uh what um we just, uh, we were just wondering uh what you knew what 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 you what what you what you what you had figured out about the professor because uh we weren't sure if his intentions. If he was being totally honest with us about why we're doing what we're doing, and and um, as 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 really cool and fun as it is, I think that uh, uh, we should uh, uh, be told the truth because that's important. Then ask him. He we're doesn't tell us the truth. Uh, he's 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 definitely lying or acting well, or both. Or did you dig up dirt on him as I suggested to Medina last week? I didn't, yes. but they did, yes. Well, then... And we'll tell her. Toss the dirt in his face. See if he and talks then. Nothing to really toss in the face, because it's it all wasn't very so much circumstantial. Dirt, it's just maybe just like some dust on his shoulder. I don't know if there's really anything... Uh, Something happened in 1985. 1985? Yeah, he now, that's left... that's very interesting. That's Why? very interesting indeed. Why? Why is it interesting? Hmm. Let's just say that was a big year for me. So when you well, took over really the crime, quick. are we are we in twenty twenty three? Like, is this? Yeah, you're you're in okay. modern day. <laughs> Fascinating. What did you accomplish in nineteen eighty five? I came into my own, and it seems this professor might have done the opposite. I doubt. Oh, right, yes, I would like to speak to him now that you've mentioned it. 
Okay. Uh, when, hmm, okay. Wednesday? Yes, miss. Okay. No smoking line. All right, did, did she just come up right behind me? <laughs> no, she came in okay. from the door. She was not dropping eaves on you, miss. Okay, um, can, can you have someone get the professor, please? I shall get some myself, miss. And, and more, more buns. Of course, sir. I will bring buns and the professor. At the same Thank time, you. by all leave. Okay. Thank you, Miss Temple. Tatiana, have you have you considered e cigarettes or or, or or vapes or or uh, uh, it, it, anything else? I'm a villain, dog, darling, not a monster. No, I will smoke real cigarettes from a cigarette holder because somehow this is classier. No, no, I, I get that. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are these cigarettes real enough that we're getting secondhand smoke? Oh yes, yeah. but only while we're here. When we does leave it all the library, when we're you all leave. better. A good Great. question. That's fine. Um, after a few moments, <laughs> we the get the black lung when we're in the library only. <laughs> the professor sort of comes in, kind of nodding to, to Wednesday, <clears throat> and sort of steps in, and Tatiana Temple just turns around and kind of nods to him. He says, "Oh, Miss Temple, yes, it's it's great to see you. Um, hello. Uh, yes, are you? Have you, have you tried these buns yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, is it? Can I? They were they were baked by they were baked by me, sir. Wow." Um, we're seeing how many we can eat. Yeah, we we wanted to have a chat with you, if you wouldn't mind having a seat. Hmm? Oh, uh... Mm -hmm. yeah, some things have come yes, up that we really... Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, he sits down. What, what, what can I do for you all? <laughs> um, well, Professor, obviously we... <clears throat> there's a lot of unknown going uh, stuff going on right now, right? Yes. And, uh... We were really hoping that, I don't know, we kind of got the feeling that there might be a little more going on here, at, le at the very least you could tell us about. We we're hoping, you know, you might be able to give us some insight into, say, what's going on, like, how this is all connected to various things that you've read, um, how this is connected to, you know, wherever, whatever, wherever you went in 1985. Where I, I went? No, I just, I was... I was just in here, and I was just reading, and then Aeneas appeared, that's all. But right, you then, went away. And you were gone. And you, when you came back, you were changed. What happened? Oh, I, I, oh yes, I just, I, I left the university for a couple of years. I just had to, um, uh, I, uh, was just going through some... Rest of the day, we're just really, we're really concerned, and we just need to know if how anything might at all relate to all of this. Again, this is, we're... We're doing, we're trying as, as hard as we can, and we want to summon all these characters, Professor, but we, we need to make sure that we're doing everything right and that we have as much information as possible. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go, you, you wouldn't go to, you know, to try and read the Aeneid without reading an introduction first and understanding everything that's going on, right? <laughs> well, I, I, I wrote the introduction in the most recent uh, release exactly. of the Fagel's translation, but, um. Oh, Brack. I would like for you, Frankie, <laughs> as Tatiana Temple puts a hand on your shoulder and you almost feel just this glint of what she provides you when you go to the purple dreamland, please make a read, uh, a detect vibe roll, um, but you can add the two uh, dice that she would add to that. Uh, so in other words, um, I think that's five for you total. Oh. oh, wait, no, hers are on. Oh, damn it. Never mind. Should we get that oh, wellness right no, up here? Just kidding. Uh, it's not her. She gives them to intellect. So this wouldn't help. But the astromancer, we're just going to let it. So go ahead and roll with uh, with four. <laughs> get the wellness sprite. Wellness sprite stat. Yeah, she's not messing around. Triple sixes right there. Nice. Nice. The devil. Uh, the number of the beast. Ah. All right. <laughs> uh, triple six is geometry, perspective, arrangement, relationship, angle. Mm -hmm. He's definitely sort of lying. He's definitely not being truthful. Something's off with him. Can I, can I tell from this role if it is... 
um, like malicious lying or or sweet lying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that you'd consider it malicious lying. It is definitely a frightened lying. It is sort of like whatever lying. Um, but something someone has said here earlier today might be a thing that you think you could, you know, Tatiana was saying, throw some dirt at him. And so guys, you know, like you're, he's, he's squirming because you're saying 1985. But there was a, there was a kind of a logical leap, a theory somebody made tonight that kind of Callie was bringing up as a possibility. Mm -hmm. And that is, would you like me to say what it is? Well, that he is not himself? Yeah, so that might be a thing, too. You, you have a feeling that, like, based on how he's squirming under 85, you're like, let's twist that knife. That's your, that's your read person on him. Mm. I have, I have a question, just a general question. When we go down into the purple caves, do we have a sense of whether time travels consistently? So far it has seemed to, but they're not caves. You see cosmos above you. In my head, they're caves. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just telling you, they're not caves. You they're, can see. It's, in my head, it's like a Disney thing where it's like a fake ceiling. Cool head. Um, We're in like the Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. right? You just... see, there's just there's just stars projected <laughs> on a ceiling, and it smells of animatronic. It smells of smoke on the side. Cool. There's a cafe next to it. <laughs> cool. That was uh, thank you, Lauren. Um, so that is the that is the insight that pops into your mind. Um, can I um, nudge Callie and and ask her to reiterate what she was saying earlier? All I'm seeing, all I'm picturing is Callie and Frankie having like a quiet whisper fight. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, the Callie will lose. Um, um, Professor, it, um, mm, um, are you really the professor? Are you at, uh, because, because we, when we go, when we go in the elevator, we're us, but then we also have the characters with us. Are you is is Ane is Aeneas in there? Are you Ane are you two people? Are you are you one person? Are you one or and, the other? And totally are you, fine. Um, like right? If you are like totally it's like, fine. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, live your truth. But I would like to know what the the truth is because it's all very um. Confused. I mean, I just, it was just uh, just random thoughts, you know. So, so, uh, uh, um, so who are you? I am Aeneas. I am going to live off the fact that I got it for the next three months, I'm telling you. I'm just... <laughs> see, see, I told you everything was fine. EJ, Doug, where are you, have you been? in the same room as us? Like, really? Like, do you understand what's happening? Kind of zoned out a little bit. Okay, so you're Aeneas. Who, who are you looking for? I, is the professor dead though? Hold on. Are you? Is there? Is it? Did you kill him and take his body? Or? No. Um, okay. Well, he 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 is. I'm sure he's. I don't know if he's dead. It, it all. It's all so. <sighs> he's in there. He got to go. Found Troy. Or found Rome, that is. He got to hey. go. You switched places with him. Ricky Friday. No, not. Uh, well, uh, yes. Uh, it's. He sort of slumps down and just takes another bite of the bun. I've never told anyone this, or, or the few I did back in, in the time you call the mid '80s. No one believed me. The thing you have to understand, though, here's here's the part that's that's confusing, and it's it's different than he sort of looks at at, at Tatiana and, and and Wednesday. What's different about me and them is is I am Aeneas, son of Priam, son of Troy, but I am not that Aeneas. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to found this. This this empire, I didn't. 
So are, are you the are you the Aeneas from the Aeneid, the Aeneid from the opera, or are you just the actual Aeneas I, of historical record? Or some uh, other Aeneas altogether? I hope I am... <laughs> I am not sure. I, I did come from... What research I can tell, I believe I was a character, but I was not any of those specific characters. I was a different... I was a, an earlier... Um, I, I see myself more, or I can feel my... I can feel Hector from the Iliad. That's closer to to the Hector I know, not perfect, but closer. The point is, I'm not, I, I, I found myself here. It was strange. There was this, 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 this moment where, where I could hear a voice almost reading what I was doing, but it wasn't what I was doing, reading what words I was saying as we, as we sailed, as we sailed away and as, and as Neptune sought vengeance upon us, but, but I, and then I found myself in in this very, in this very building, with this face looking back at me. And then we switched. I wanted to switch. I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to have to make the choices that he kept describing to me. The sacrifices. I didn't want to have to keep the. But then, once I was here a while, I. <laughs> I realized my own. This old fake story was the only thing I knew. It was my only means of survival. So I, I used his identity. I, I came back and, but 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 now that this is happening, maybe there's a chance that I can I can return to where I belong. How do you suppose? Are, are you looking for someone specific for us to bring back, or or? I I just want to go there. So I'm hoping that perhaps if you keep bringing characters, maybe maybe you'll even bring Aeneas, the the, the, the professor, who's Aeneas, and then perhaps we could we could be where we're meant to be. We can be righted. Why didn't you just tell us we could have focused our efforts on finding him? We've been trying to get information from you this whole time. I I was worried that it would. Look, you're doing something exceptional. I didn't want to to tilt the results. You're so you quantum leaps. You're bringing these characters here. Ricky Friday. I didn't want to alter it, and, and and to be totally honest, their appearance here is different than mine. Uh, I appear, In what way? I was here a moment. I wasn't as I, I wasn't as substantial. They they walk around. They persist. He can he can leave the library. And it's, I can leave the library. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When when we encountered people from, was it Greek mythology? Roman. There are some Zeus guys. Yeah, what was it, Greek or Roman? They, this is me asking. Uh, there was a person who claimed that he served Zeus, the master mage. Okay, okay. And those were the people, right? The human people. You or encountered people. one. You one encountered person. one human being who said he served Zeus, the master mage. Oh, okay. I was thinking of the the end to that too, but we only encountered. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, going back into character. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. We did encounter a person down there, a, a, a flesh and blood person, as far as we know. So there was something different about that person and where they were from, and they- Was he Aeneas? N no, he seems- I don't think so. He served Zeus, the master mage Zeus. No. And then Medina kicked his ass. Aeneas would have served Jupiter, <laughs> not, not Zeus. Hmm. Well, well, what do you have, because that's the, th the, the thing, like, Aeneas, the time period was before the Roman pantheon existed, so it would have been the Greek pantheon. Yes, but... but so the fact, But the fact that you are talking, the fact that you remember Neptune and you remember Jupiter, that means that you come from a writing derived from a Roman mind. That's true. Yes, that's true. I, I'm... And, and and he kind of he'll even you know he's like believe me I understand the distinctions now, um, of course, the actual names we said were in the Trojan language, which right, and he could say some names right now, but I don't I don't know I don't know what that is. So the point is that's a, it's an entirely separate thing. Wow, you're really breaking my immersion by not knowing ancient Trojan. <laughs> Um, <laughs> next week he's gonna come back and spout just a bunch of fucking yeah. words he googled 
just just the U.S. or I just want to. He's gonna be fluent. I don't know what the U- just USC Trojan marching band fight song is, but I would. Oh, say I got that. you there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he's kind of just like I. The point is, I didn't want to interfere with what you were doing. It seemed like I I I didn't. And I I though I would love for you to research Aeneas and research these things. I I, I don't. I'd rather you just keep doing what it is you're doing because I, I, there is this totality. I mean, you're bringing these characters in from from these pop cultural works that don't even exist in our universe, as far as we can tell. Has this happened before us? Between no. you and us? No. It happened long ago, and I'm not sure why. And Tatiana Temple just gives one. Hmm. But then, now it's happened again. differently this time. Cause... And these is based on a real person, right? Like, he is a person? Are you asking that in character? No. Wait. Sure. Yes. Uh, the, the professor will say, well, that's just it. I, 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 you know, ancient Troy is so long ago that the that the figures from it are, are more more mythological, perhaps. Right. No, yeah, like, the, the Iliad and the Odyssey were a cult, were, is an oral myth yeah. that was passed down and then finally written down by Homer. There is no historical record of, of Troy. There are there are places, uh, you know, archaeologists assume were ancient Troy. And as for a Trojan who then went to, a Trojan who then made his way to, to Rome and founded it, that is, that is certainly considered mythic, and yet... That's apparently what my story is meant to be. Just well, as, as my grandson or great-grandson, Brutus of Troy, who then went on to found Britain a hundred years or so after that, is yet another myth that the British used to try to to tie themselves to this glorious past. It's a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you have any theories as to why we can are able to do it now? I don't. I, I just know that whatever you're doing is so much more than I could do, which means whatever... If some gate allowed me to cross through here, whatever's well, happening whatever we're now, doing is Whatever we're doing is more than what the original da- Davies could do. Oh, much as, more. And as, as far, far as, as I... Know, as far as we know, you can't do anything. I can't do anything, and I... No, and I... I and I, I went through his journals once I... I I, those first couple years were were confusing. You know, I didn't I didn't know how to read this language. I didn't I I, I could speak it through some convenient contrivance, but I I couldn't read it. I couldn't couldn't write it. I I today, years later I was able to collect his old writings, and there was no reference, as far as I know. He never had an experience until the night we met and switched places. Do you have his journals? Yes, but I I'm telling you there. They're, uh, his journals from before I took his place, yes. They're, they're utterly banal, just the, the writings of a rather mediocre mind. It's funny, I, <laughs> I was a warrior in a world that seems ancient by your standards, and yet I, I feel I'm much more eloquent than this, than this 30-year scholar whose place I took. Wow, Burn. Oh. Wow, Burn. Well, the manner of communication changes from generation to generation. Yes. Yes. Well. So, so when exactly in 1985 did this happen? Okay. Now, here's the thing. He's go. He now says a date. Okay. The date he says is a date I don't know the exact date of because I'm not sure we ever said the... Did we ever say the... Did we ever say I don't think date? so. I don't think so. The point is, he says a date in 1985. I will look at Tatiana. And as soon as he says it, Tatiana, feeling your eyes, gives you a... <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating, dear. <laughs> well, is that all you needed from me, darlings? I've learned all I needed to know. You have something you want to share with the rest yes, of the class? Yes, we'd love for you to chime in too, Tatiana, about this particular date in 1985. Wait a minute. It would be helpful for me to chime in with this information. It would that be would very save helpful. the day? Unless you think... No, it can't. would ruin the day, you villain. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, but I'm much too insightful for that. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. No, Tatiana, why don't you tell them about the connection 
Oh, wait, I already told y'all about the potential connection between what? Alpha City and here. You did, yes. Okay. I assume you did. Yeah. Well, I mentioned it a while, like, as soon as I, I said, I tell the group, yeah. but, but there is a, con she, I'll say it again. Tatiana thinks that there's a connection between here, Mystic here, and Alpha City in her world. There could be a connection between Aeneas's world. Let's just say that 1985 was a rather tumultuous year in my time. Okay, can you be more specific? Mm -hmm. Of course I could. <laughs> and she walks away. Oh, God. Frank, do, do you know what she's talking about from reading all those comics? Um, Make a research roll. Ooh. Uh, how many is that? For you... Um, actually, do a calculate. Three. Would you like to buy any more using your power? I would like to buy some using my power. Okay, then give yourself one more, and I will deduct power. But in a sweet way. Thank you. <laughs> two twos two twos that's a match um yes match, baby. and it's a it's a rhetoric match so it's like communication that's helpful you're kind of just yeah whatever um there was a mini series in this that was like about time traveling back to 1985 to prevent Tatiana Temple from like changing history then and there was this huge incursion from this thing called the astral plane where they basically, like, Tatiana Temple was able to change all of time by by stepping out of time and changing time by going to the astral plane where time's sort of different. And that's kind of, like, how's the, the trick of how she did it without, like, all the temporal stuff locking it and creating, a, like, different timelines. This makes total sense to Frankie because she's a comic book nerd. Yeah. So the point being, um, 1985, when that astral adventure when this huge explosion into the astral plane happened you wonder if maybe just maybe a ripple of that passed to this other reality that seems to be located in a similar place although the epicenter of that ripple was over the pacific ocean where you guys were fighting a lovecraftian beast but you know there was still a lot focused in alpha city come on yeah. point being some ripple might have come to this plane and given a momentary glimpse of whatever it is happening here in Hampstead, in Hampstead Hall. I communicate that to them in a three-pronged lecture that is impromptu, but, but thorough. <laughs> <laughs> They're oh. all about blank, but blank. So then is there, okay. Frankie, are they still making those top flight comics? They... They only exist in this house. Like, like, so, like, like before we had done been in this situation, we'd never heard of Top Flight. Never heard of Top Flight. All right. Well, that's, Frankie, that's why I any... wanted to read them because I couldn't find them anywhere else. Never heard of them before. Are when, these actually when... published? Are we just reading a bunch of fan fiction? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, are... Yes. Yes. <laughs> Out of game answer. Yup. <laughs> so, are there any? Are there? What's the most recent? How re, how like current in the in the in the public like, the publication does this series go? Um, you wouldn't have to, you know, because you have your comic book, uh, comics plus two. Yeah, you wouldn't have to. You've, I'm sure that in typical comic book nerd fashion, every time you find an issue, you bag and board it and like keep them in some kind of you know order. Um, you, you brought a bunch of bag of boards in. So the point is, uh, you, um, the comics are sporadic. Mm -hmm. The most recent one would have been, uh, roll me a D100, actually, which you don't have handy. Let me give you this fun one that you rolled a second ago. Um, wait, where's the other, the matching friend? Oh, here's the matching friend. Roll that. Um... The most recent one would have been uh, towards the end of the, it would have been th that last uh, temple flight one. Mm. So you saw some stuff about that craziness of like going back in time, and a guy named Captain Eldritch and, and a ta like this Tatiana temple seemingly being stranded in the astral plane is the last thing you saw. Um, and then there was a thing about how there was about to be an annual, but you haven't found that anywhere yet. 
Oh. It, an annual it, might be really helpful for you guys to find. But, yeah. Is it possible to bring in, to summon characters um, at different points in their... Like, could I summon a Tatiana from the most recent one an as well? Excellent question. Tatiana Temple, because you have unlocked her, you do in fact know she does have different variants. She is perhaps... I think she may literally be the only character you guys have unlocked who has true variants who are not... Um, yeah, she has actual variants who are not just cosmetic. Okay. Um, and the, I, I don't think I've actually officially said this aloud. Uh, the difference between a costume and a real variant is the variant gives you completely different powers. The costume keeps your base, might give you, like, might give you an extra tag here or there, but they don't fundamentally change the character. She has two variants. One of her variants is Temple Flight, Tatiana Temple, where she is Captain Eldritch. The other is 1985 variant. And so the one we have is... You guys have the standard classic. So that, strictly speaking, is the most up-to-date version. Okay. But she has knowledge of those things, so she just doesn't have the abilities of those things. Precisely. Okay. And actually, in her in, in, in her you the fact that you got a mythic to start is crazy because basically those are two like less powerful versions. You know, mm. they're just legendaries. So then we would have to research and transcribe them separately. Correct. Okay. But then would there be multiple of her walking around, or could we? Yeah, only have one out at a time. No, if and... there's... Yes, costumes, they switch to the same person. Different ones, you'd have more than one Tatiana. Oh, oh she would no. hate it, I feel. She would <laughs> love it. I don't know. Or she might just be like, finally, someone worthy of my smooches. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's, that that's a person. fan fiction that's not appropriate to talk about right now, Philip. I can talk about any fan fiction you want. Want to hear about my Wednesday line fan fiction? Oh, it's no. weird. Uh, so. Lots of sticky buns. <laughs> I'm on number five. <laughs> yeah, that, oh god, that one's filthy. That's the one where after I wrote it, I was like, too far, publish. <laughs> <laughs> All send. Oh my god, oh, that's, I can't have said that. Make public. Um, so, uh, so that is... <laughs> That's a lot of information you guys have gotten. And uh, KJ, you did, you did, you did, you can live on that for three months, apparently. You yes, did you great. Did. I will. I will. You, that's, that's what the deal was. So. He, he kind of, he sort of sighs in relief and he says, I, I am worried about this, um, you know, I don't wish to, to impact what you're doing, but, but, um, I, I, I don't want you to specifically focus on, on that because I'm not even sure if, Finding Aeneas is the right oh, path. I just, I, I, I hope that the more you do this, maybe there is some way for me to go home. That's all. Well, you do seem increasingly worried, though. What has you worried? <laughs> it's not worry. It's um, it's desperation. Now that I'm so close, mm. I just, I, I, I. The, the fact, it's, 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 it's almost worse that this has happened, and now I can't. <laughs> but and you can enter this world. It, it, it's it, a maybe the answers are there. Exactly. Well, Professor, I mean, getting getting you home is still, like, that's the most concrete goal we have right now. So. Exactly. Appreciate it. Perhaps in, perhaps in trying to figure that out, we'll learn other things about this whole situation. That would be great. Outside of class, should we be calling you Professor now that we He's know the truth? Professor. I mean, I've, I've I mean been, but he's really not. I've been Professor Arthur Davies for... for um, for 38 years. He's actually more of a professor than the actual I, I have, in fact, I've been him longer than he has. And he's yeah. been me. He's been Aeneas longer than I've been. And even if, Cal, even if you want to call him Aeneas, he still is our professor in that he teaches at the school and teaches us classes. That's true. Ooh, oh, yes. Speaking I am of, tenured somehow. Can, can you go ahead and record our grades <laughs> as give that anyone now these days. in case you switch? That's a good point. Sure. I'll do that tonight. Um, well, I, I am uh, astounded and fascinated by Frankie in this moment. Just... 
Well, I think we have our homework. Yeah, I feel great. Can I do a vibe check to see if, like, I feel like he has been forthcoming, like, fully forthcoming, or if there's something I feel... Sure. Okay, but I want to add dice. How much is that? It's uh, It will cost you two for each additional... Uh, okay, I'm... Uh, for each additional study die. And should that be a read person or a vibe? Uh, that would be read person because you're trying to read him. Okay. I'm going to do three additional oh, die. You know what though? I'm a what? I forgot. You can. I will also sometimes allow psychology for more mentally minded people. So I do apologize because Callie could have gone crazy with that. But go ahead and roll yours because you are doing this. Yes, yes. Would it still be? Uh, you, you, read person? What's higher for you, psychology or read person? Psychology. Uh, they're the same. Okay, then pick your poison. Okay, so I'm so doing six total. Six total? Oh, man. Yeah, my psychology is great. Book and dagger, I am I'm. I suddenly ah. just opened the thing. Yes, uh, Whisper does have a variant. That is correct. I just have a couple of twos. Two twos? Yes. Um, with two twos... Based on your understanding, we'll kind of we'll say that you're sort of going to a more rhetorical thing. You mm -hmm. don't believe you you are not finding him to be honestly, this makes perfect sense for a law student. You mm -hmm. have no sense of him like like if he's lying, he's just lying well. He's not like he's not doing like clever <laughs> half truths. Bless you. Bless you. He's not doing any like, you know, he's not doing any like let's just say I've been around the block. Because I live mm -hmm. on this strange block, and it's like he's not—he's not doing edgy, weird, like like things like that. He's—he's either—he's either an incredible liar, or he's telling you the truth. And there's not like I don't get a feeling that he's keeping something else. No, you feel that he's revealed a lot. Okay. He—he he didn't tell you he was in the S because he felt. He just, he didn't, you, you, the, the idea that he didn't want, you know, that it is for research, that it is for sort of like the, the independent study of this. He just wanted you guys to discover what this is and just get it going of your own. That all seems truthful. But he'll, he'll, they'll put your A's down, yes. Thank you. Um, Tatiana has returned down to course court. Okay, I, does anyone else have any other questions for prof the professor? Not yet. I want to. I just want to make sure that we do smash that summon button on this shadow elf lore master. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Let's. Let's. I would love to meet another character. Perhaps they'll have you know insight that will lead to greater insight. And I appreciate you all. And it, uh, you now understand why I wanted so much secrecy. And I hope you can. Yeah. You can stick. Stick with that. Thank you. Again, well, people will think we're insane if we share this with anyone. So your oh, secret is I can safe confirm to you, if you ever tell someone you're Aeneas, you will spend three months in an institution if it's 1986. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. And again, everything's kind of fine. So just, so. you know, he's, he's Aeneas, but, you know. Uh, you know, in a roundabout way, you're right. I'll give that to you. So, anyway, let's summon. So, you go in, you get the pages, you will spend the 300 inspiration of your 3,325. Yes. Yep. We might have a mansion to summon, okay? We've got it. With the no. You're very Black. smart to keep it, so with that. Oh, he's upset now. I mean, if there were more to summon, I would. There more to summon, we would be smashing. Too. Yeah, that I wouldn't be here saying let's save it. I. You guys, are you guys ready for Beth and Afa, a character who oh, yeah. literally none of you have seen because I think KJ was absent this day. <laughs> Ooh, poet. Oh my fuck. He's a poet. That's Ooh, why he, he has looks a scarf. Like a poet. Look at that goatee. Oh, that goatee! No. <laughs> This ah. very sort of handsome uh, sort of this shadow elf appears, the sort of all black sclera pointed ears. He's wearing a white sweater, a gray scarf because he is in black and white. Oh, Jesus. Um, he sort of appears with like a book in hand and looks around and puts the book into a pocket in his pants. 
and says, Hello. I think it's the book. Oh, just a just a little notebook in which oh, I can okay. I can write poetry as it strikes me, or or jot down a thought, or do one now. A poem. Yeah. Okay. You wish for a? Oh, well, I can I can certainly do a poem recitation for you if that's something you'd like. Yeah. Honestly, that's sure fine. But we they're more Doug. They're more present. Fine. fine. Do you fine. do you don't want a poem? I'm happy to. To tell you a poem, if you'd like. Look, the the main re. <laughs> well, yeah, we have someone who'll run you through a whole orientation of why you're here and what the what the hell is going on. Um. We have some. We understand that you know a lot about where you're from. <gasps> yes, I do. Although, as you can see, my uh, <clears throat> my world was transformed a few years ago by something called Project Skip Leech. The color was drained. There are many rumors as to why this has happened. How long ago did that happen? About five years ago. Okay, all right. What year is it? What year? Um, yeah. That would be in, uh, I guess they do just use our time. That would be the year 1950. Oh, okay. Even though they're not really on our time. it's the, We'll just say they're using it as that. It's fine. It's it's post-war, so it was like 1950 yeah, back then. You'll, you'll find more uh, uh, color-drained people such as yourself uh, when you get into the oh. room. Any other, any other shadow elves? Plenty, actually. Oh, oh yeah. That's so I don't know if any of them are color drained. Oh. oh, yes, no, there is one color drained shadow elf. Oh, um, wait, in there, I, will, then... I will. I will meet shadow elves from other planes. Oh, that is fascinating. Yes, uh, yes. Do you know, one you know, is a queen. Please do not offend her. A queen? Do you know what her name is? Uh, yeah, um, the Umbral Queen. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's umbral her first. Umbral Queen? Wait, last a, name, a queen honestly. of an Umbral Court? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, well, that is so fascinating. Oh, I will, I will perform poetry. I hope, I hope that my my mastery of of old shadow elf is is up to her standards. Look, in what so, um, I assume is Wednesday still in the room? Yes, sir. I'm right here. <laughs> sir. Um, uh, look, so uh, would you like is... me to give you the chill, sir? I will crack an no, egg on your head. It is no, not a real excess. I don't need shiver shivers running down my spine. You wanted that, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, no, uh, is, is it Bethan, Bethan Effa? What, how do you, what do you? Bethan Effa at your service. Is Beth- that the whole, is like, is it, okay. What, uh, is this is, is, I hope that I'm bad to the name, but if I'm not, it is, I'm sure it's not a competition. Look, this is Wednesday line. She's going to give you kind of like the rundown of the place, but we have other people who are like you in that they also know a great deal about where they come from. Ah, of course. And... Masters of lore, in other words. Exactly, yes. That's, that's certainly one way to, to coin put it. it. Phrase, uh, lore yes. master, another way to put it. Um, oh, no. But, uh, oh, I like either yeah. of these, yes, of course. Yeah, you know, and this, this, I'm yes. sure, you know, a poet as yourself might might want to use one form, one form in one se- se- setting and one form in another. It is all about the meter. Of course, yes. If you need more of a meter, you would use... Master of Law, or if you simply a law master, might be better depending on if it's a trochee or a dactyl. Master has a lot Mondi. of names, such as caster, mm. faster, mm-hmm. disaster, indeed, as well. Yeah, yeah very yeah. well done. You have a poet's heart, I can tell. Thank you. Yeah, alabaster. Anyway, um, <laughs> alabaster. <laughs> alabaster. Um, <laughs> look. Uh, it's uh, while well, once you once you kind of settle in disaster uh, and alabaster. We would really hope that you could talk to those other lore masters, and I, you know, put your heads together and kind of. We're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I'll and be honest really with you. I'm. I feel um, an odd sensation of. I can't remember precisely what it was I was doing, and um, I would rather. I'm. I feel energy. I feel. I feel ready. You've. Give me some. I've been summoned here. Perhaps this is merely a dream, or a dream within a dream. So, I'm yeah. very happy to jump into whatever matters you need me to engage in now. Well, that's good because, boy, does it get weird. Um, you, you should you should go on and get acquainted with your new home. So I should speak Connor. to these. I should seek out these other law masters. Yes. All right, I Connor. Just... Why do you have that face? Just ask Perhaps you maybe the characters are dreaming. 
Maybe these characters are dreaming. We're going to a dreamland. Oh, perhaps we're dreams. Hmm. How fascinating. Are the dreams of the writers? Are the dreams <laughs> of the characters themselves? And it's just something we need to research. Okay. Never well, mind. With that, I will um I will leave you. Will, are you sure you don't want a poem? L you know, let's have a poem. <laughs> I'll leave you with a brief poem, but it is in another tongue. Is that all right? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> if I'm going to go meet an ancient queen, I suppose I should speak in the old way. Meyer Kuzgard Indi Garudi, Blentinbach. He proceeds oh, from there to oh, say a poem yeah. in the ancient tongue of the Shadow Elves. Was that? Yes, that was. That oh. was the same thing. He nods to you all and goes downstairs. <laughs> that was not an in-game that, that, that was Dan and Laura, not Connor yeah. and Medina. Ooh. Okay. What um, is happening? Oh, I wonder what language that was. We're in <laughs> Philip's <laughs> dreams. That's, that's what we're in. <clears throat> or nightmares. Ooh. I wouldn't be here if that were it. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're in that sleep of death where dreams may come, right? Yep. Um, he goes down, and uh, Wednesday gives the um, the wellness sprite directions to to summon together the Astromancer, S.A. Rawlings, Wiki, to meet. Wow, look at all those. Yes, I, I, will, I will do it again. <laughs> I will do it again with a smile. He muted me last night. <laughs> For the first time. On stream? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh-huh. Because I was like, wow, look at all of those toys that you have. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm being muted. <laughs> night, everyone. Um, he had that muting look. I'm so, I, I just saw chat. Okay, the Wednesday one's not great. I did just give her a meat cleaver, though. Because she's oh, a yeah. cook. Uh -huh. She's got this green thing. What, quick vote. Should I switch Wednesday since she's, she is a kitchen maid? I still don't have a good maid one, but should I give her a chef jacket instead? White chef jacket? I like that. Or you like the green? I like, Feels that. Like, I like that. I like the green. Green's kind of a... She, yeah, okay, she's in green. Yeah. Love it. I, I always imagined her in green. Well, then. Kismet, baby. Um, so, he goes down to speak to, um, the other law masters. You are all here. Um, Callie. Callie, Callie, Callie. Would you please make a, um, analyze or calculate roll, but they're going to do slightly different things in this moment, so tell me which one you're doing. Um, I mean, analyze has more dice, so I would rather... Okay, then analyze is probably a better one. Ooh, I have two threes and three fours. Two threes and three fours. Wow. Yes. Okay. Uh, would you like to use your three fours for your primary? There is a secondary in bit of information you'll get. So two successes helps. So do you want the do you want the bigger on the top or would you? Um, this is just bigger a, on the top. Bigger on top. Okay. Cool. So so three fours. Holy smokes. Um, four. Ooh. Can I reroll the last one just just in case I? You know. Uh, if you want to re-roll it, you can, but it will cost you three plus five to keep the other five. Gross. No, never mind. Yeah, Gross. that's that's a it's an expensive proposition, and that's why some character like some tags and and some abilities are you can re-roll without paying to keep dice, and that's that's always like a really cool thing because it's like you're like oh sweet let me re-roll everything and I you know I'm just chasing a map to the other things. All right, and then the three is logical reason. Um, okay, so Callie, mm -hmm. with this analysis. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna actually make a recommendation. You should actually swap it and use the lesser success for the primary question, and the other success for the secondary because of what the numbers are. Because your your 
you should use the you should use a de second degree dialectic logic truth analysis for your primary concern and a third degree uh, creation music uh, composition for your secondary concern. That. Great. Um, you look at the time. You know that you guys probably don't have time to go in the elevator once again. So whatever those dreamlings are doing at that tower, they'll have another week to do it. They're probably running took it over. Place is yeah. what they're doing. Well, they, they, they're, they're doing it in your name. They're just, they're rotating off who gets to be the captain. Look at me, look at me. I'm the they're captain. doing it in the, queen, in the Emerald Queen's name. That is true. So, Callie, you also remember that once when you guys didn't go down there, you instead managed to make a huge concerted effort and used whatever energy allows you to go to the place to conjure an entire location in a night. And there's part of you with this quest for lore masters that you guys are under that wonders if perhaps a lore master hub are you suggesting a lore master hub i am suggesting a because lore i've hub. literally been thinking of a lore master hub for weeks yeah okay. lore hub <laughs> for a lore weeks. hub oh well so are you talking so are you do mean in terms of a location are you in talking in terms of a location no you no. brought this up dm I i'm asking know. i'm asking what you what i was saying is if you wanted to, with 30 minutes left and everybody rolling pretty high, but you got a lot of power. If you wanted to, you could attempt to just get a one more lore master right now. No. Let's do it. No. The Callie's location. Oh, we already have it. Oh wait. So you weren't talking because you were talking about location. You're saying we can just get a dude. I was. Y you learned from last time. You learned from like two or three weeks ago how you were able to conjure a thing like basically rather than using downtime you guys put all of your in-game energy into conjuring a location but in other words you could conjure things in game like if you person. guys do a concerted okay. effort you guys could be like cool let's well, let's snag a lore master right now okay well we should get the one that has is the least part of the way least progress free gig oh. Uh, well, technically, there actually is one who has even less progress. Now, that one would be a stretch, okay. but if you wanted to go... I'll tell you this. The person who has the least progress right now... Would be Margaret Circle. Is Margaret Circle, although Kriggig is very close, because Kriggig is also legendary. Kriggig is eight, mm -hmm. Margaret Circle has one. You could try to get one of them. Actually, I... Mrs. Goddard is around the same thing. She is... Te they're all... Those are all legendary. Yes, Connor? I selfishly want either, uh, Synth Devil or Eric Zuzer Schmidt. We already have a top flight one. I though. know, but they'd be great to have. Um, who's the other? Oh, uh, well, yeah. So Mandy Polly the to... mouth. Or Mandy the mouth. Okay, so here's here's how with your with your double successes on analysis and you doing them in those order. If you want to try to get a lore master tonight, um, Mandy the mouth is probably attainable with some good rolls. The others are all legendary. Those would all be a real stretch, but. Even if you didn't get them, you would have them, like, well along the way. Progress. Yeah. So, in these waning time here, I don't think we have time to go into the purple thing. That's just oh, a, no, definitely that's a not. disaster. But if you guys want to do, like, a rough thing, we'll do that skill challenge how we did last time. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Yes, I mean, yes, absolutely. I'm down for whoever, like, I, 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 personally, I don't care, so whoever, if there's, I mean, like, do we want the for sure summon, or do we, are we okay with just getting most Swing of the for the fences. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go big. But, sure. Or just let the dice decide which one we go for. Clap a shot from the like blue that. line. Oh, yeah, universe. let's roll a die. That's and then if we don't like it, we just roll, roll yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, if we don't like Wait, it, we'll go again. Were you about Definitely. to say something, Frankie? I just, I just have a question um, about the logistics of getting a location. Yeah. Um, uh, if we were to get a location, would it come with everything that is in it in the moment that we conjure? It's like, would it, would it, if someone had journals that they were keeping mm. there, would they come with the location? So the way I would say this, honestly, kind of both about characters and locations and all this stuff is, is think Disneyland, you're kind of getting like mm. the iconic version that isn't super specific. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, 
Like, like they'll we're know. Not getting the, we're not getting the Christmas, uh, you know, Haunted Mansion variant. Or, or, or you're not getting. Or you're only getting. Yeah, like you're not getting a version that like necessarily has every bit of intel, like from any. But if we get more scene. characters for that realm, does shit get filled in? That could happen. Yes. So, um, so it sounds like is everyone in agreement that you guys are going to try to get a lore master tonight, and that you're going to let the fates decide. Yes. Are you going to yeah. let the fates decide, including whether or not it's a swing for the fences? There are four who are from places you haven't gone to. I think we should do one of those four. Or yeah. you could do just the three who are legendary, who are the bigger, bigger ones. Let's go for ones we haven't well, gone to. I don't to. have a D3. I have a D4. Oh, so. a D6 is a D3. Oh, but well, that's too much. Okay. All right. So if you're going to do it, assign it. Do it how, numbers, do it how you I agree. Do. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be. Just in order of the sheet, whoever's the first on the sheet will be one, second is two, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I can even then tell you what that goes. That is Mandy's No, mouth. don't tell us. Oh, okay. It should be a mystery. It's a mystery, then roll it, and I guess you'll know what one is, but otherwise. Two. You're gonna make someone very happy. Alphabetically, the second on the sheet now, because I just added it, is one Margaret Circle. Margaret Circle from Murder by Murder, the lore master of Murder by Murder. Upon hearing that you might be getting her, Wednesday says, Oh, yes, miss. She's just right behind you, Medina. Yeah. I do think that if you summoned Miss Margaret Circle, there are many things she can tell you. Okay. She knows all the secrets. Well, the secrets of... Well, she doesn't know the secrets of the grave. Not. You know those. No, miss, I've never been dead. Does anyone want me to braid their hair? I'm very anxious right now. My fingers need something to do. Idle fingers are very dangerous after all. Braid mine. That's fine. Okay, yes. Thank you, Miss Kelly. I appreciate appreciate everything you do. And she begins braiding your hair. Um. So you guys are going to try to summon Miss Margaret Circle. Yes. Yeah. All right, Medina. You were the one who read this book, so you remember Margaret Circle. She's uh, kind yeah. of a she's kind of like a like a Mrs. Potts type, kind of an, an older. Uh, the joke of this is that I feel her, like she's much closer to Mrs. Doubtfire, honestly. Or Mrs. Doubtfire. Her her name is her name is Margaret Circle because I said she's very round, and Wednesday <laughs> Line is very tall and skinny, so she's she's Line. That's their origin of their names. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you guys want to do this this is basically going to be a um the way we did this last time is you can each make rolls you can't do the same role so it's sort of like a DD style skill challenge so everyone gets to make a role you can't do the same role because she is legendary we will need um third degree successes but uh and i'll kind of use this thing i'm doing on this other thing um, a, if anyone gets a second degree success, a fourth degree success will cancel out two second degrees, in other words. So Ooh. two people could only get a single match, but if somebody makes it to four, that would cancel those out. Um, you guys will need to score, uh, but yeah, you'll basically, so you, you need, you need a total of five sort of thirds, but if there's two seconds, a quarter, a fourth would get rid of it. So... Um, each of you should think about what skill you'd like to use. Um, you can only use one each. Of your Melee three. weapon. Okay. Uh, and you have to justify how it applies to this situation. Obviously, because I have the most dice in that. Understood. Uh, I don't have, and remember to be looking at your base sheet. I don't have a good justification for melee weapon. For I'm servers. comfortable doing either research, investigate, or analyze. Okay. I want to do none of those. I have four in analyzing research, so I could do one of those. I would like to do research because we're researching a character in order to. It is your, actually a research would be good for you because it is from your zone, so okay. I have six in um, create, compose. That's perfect. That would actually be, you know what? You could, you could, with from Medina's description and the fact that Wednesday's here braiding Callie's hair, she can tell you all about this person so you guys can attempt to like get more you know, shenanigans can, from her. Can we use power? You you can and should use power. I would use a lot I'll of power burn since, it all you're, here since you're not going into the purple place, yes. I'll add three more. 
So you're using six power to get three more dice. So yeah. wait, that's research and that's... So Medine is going compose. to research. Connor's going to do analyze. Is that right, Connor? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to do investigate, Callie? I can do investigate. I can also do psychology, but that's one die less. Um, Up to you. Both of those would work. Doug, any ideas for you? Uh, does uh, in- endurance? You could try to make. I mean, a case. he's having to deal with our nonsense all night. I feel like that could. You're chugging some like energy drinks here and like going to town. I'll chug energy drinks to help you guys. <laughs> I'll do investigate. <laughs> yeah. Writing stuff down. Yeah, it furious. probably does um... take a lot. Well, you know, he had a big game this weekend, so he's probably tired and he has to power through. That's true. Um, or I could do a, a, a three die one instead. I would, no, no, I, think, I would yeah. rather you not. I would, I, I would or say, how about skate? power? I would say DJ DJ three. I would I would maybe look at your first your first will ability is not bad. Charm. <laughs> Just and little. things are. I think the into radio place likes them. Doug. Yeah. Um, yeah. Things are falling into place, and now we get about Doug. Um, Can I do investigate and base that off of like going into the manor to kind of understand things for yes, Margaret Yes, you can, you can go like see her room in the manor. The fact that the manor is here actually means this one is, 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 it is, is if it's good, it counts. Yeah, go check what the number is. <laughs> so I can do charm? Uh, I don't know. It's, I, won't, I won't know if it's good until later, right? That's true. You can. I'll tell you what. Okay, you you pick. Look. No, pick it up, and you can keep it if you like what numbers on it. <laughs> but you have. You're basically making a decision. It's a one. You want to keep a one, or you can re-roll it. That's entirely up to you. I have to choose now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Doug. I guess. I don't know. Uh, endurance. Or a uh, detect vibe. <laughs> Doug, are you that? are you good at hockey? Uh, yeah. Actually, Doug, detect vibe would be a really good one. You should do detect vibe. Did uh, did did Margaret Circle have any romantic entanglements? Um, you can roll a detect vibe on that thing. Or he's getting Margaret Circle did not seem to have romantic entanglements, but she had a lot of gossip about those of others. Mm. How long is your hair, Doug? Uh, it's yeah. Is it braidable? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I keep asking. She keeps ignoring. <laughs> Look at your hair. Oh my god. It's yeah. So cute. Wednesday will she'll braid your hair if you ask her. I have, and she ignores. Oh. Me. As soon as she finishes college, she'll come to your braid your hair. She doesn't care. All right. Um. <laughs> all right. So, um, I think Medina, you should go first, as this is research into your own setting. So you're giving yourself three bonuses. How many are you rolling in total? Uh, that was a uh, ten. You're rolling ten total. Wait, yeah. Wait, you have seven. You bought three extra dice, and you have seven to start with. Wait, no. I don't think you have seven in research. Wait, I'm not counting this right. Eight. <laughs> okay, so you are rolling. You have five in research. Yes. And you're adding three more. Six, to seven, eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. I did. And ah, I only have two fives and two twos. And two sevens. So you have three matches that are twos. I do. No. Okay, but no no third third degrees. degrees. All right, so you, in that case, we'll say that this is certainly not over yet. Somebody's going to have to get a fourth degree success because also Medina has, I just saw her power, has nothing left. Medina, however, you didn't, you have good breadth. So you're mm-hmm. able to give them, you, you're not able to give like the deep understanding of this character, but you give a lot of good examples. Okay. So we'll say that things are still alive. There's a solid rough draft. A solid rough draft. That we're going to base the rest um, of this off of. Next up, let's have Connor analyze what you've explained. Great. So I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to spend eight power to give myself four extra dice. So I'm going to be rolling eight. Okay. Big money, no whammies. Okay, one, one, two, three, five, eight, eight. Okay, what it was so. It's either going to be ones or. 
Eight, I guess so. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do then. <clears throat> I'm going to spend three to re-roll my pool, and I'm gonna spend an extra two to keep the ones. Understood. Okay, so rather than that. spending your five to guarantee a three, you're rolling a bunch and hoping that of the yeah, remaining baby. six, at least one one comes up. Yes. And hopefully two ones. Great. I like it. Uh, nope. I have. So that's one one three three six six seven eight. One one three three six six seven eight. So once again, we have characters with multiple successes in this, but no one's gone deep. So now, however, we said a fourth degree success will save two. Mm -hmm. So that will help with the... So from the remaining three people, we do need third degree successes. All right. I'm a fucking child. Um, we have... So, so far we've had... We've had some research. We've had some analysis. Uh, let's do the vibe. Doug, show me that. That's vibe. a deep Doug. Show me the vibe. I'm going to spend eight to get the extra four. Okay. So this gives you seven total? Yep. So it's two per die? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That was three sixes. <gasps> it's out. Three sixes. And then I will spend five to make it so there's one more six. So with that... So basically, Doug You're over here. One. So basically, mm. Medina is like trying to research research it, and Wednesday's like braiding Callie's hair. And honestly, Callie, you you probably don't yelp, but she kind of pulls too hard just a couple of times oh, because no. just like 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 Medina, and then she's like, "I'm so sorry, Miss." Um, and she kind of she stops because Medina is just like kind of not you know her research is very good and she's getting lots of success, but she hasn't gotten all the way down. Connor similarly and now analyzing it hasn't quite grasped who this person is because really what you guys are trying to do is just like in in a very brief time do you know weeks worth of 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 like researching and reading about this character you're trying to just kind of that is a normal years. college night i don't understand that is a very why this yeah, effort that is a very that is a very good point um so connor again his analysis is good he has some good insights but hasn't quite grasped it however doug and with a six, remind me what the hell six is. With geometry. With the geometry, Doug, the vibe, the perspective, you're like, you're just like, oh, I get this lady. She's like, uh, and you just, you, whether it's someone who, you know, you know from your life or you've seen on TV or some combination, you say a thing and, and now no longer tugging your hair, Callie. Um, Wednesday finishes the braid and says, that's precisely right, sir. Yes. She kind of. And I'll just point to my hair. She comes over and begins, <laughs> she begins braiding your hair, Doug. Victory braids. Um, and says, I hope I don't do this in a way that is appropriate, though. Um, it's harder with boys. Um, I know I shall give you what uh, what I've heard about is called a paddle one braid. Yes, that seems okay. Um, so in any case, um, uh, so with Who that... told her about the paddle one braid? With that, jacket girl, jacket a hundred percent. Okay, was like okay now like hairstyle number four. That's lame. Not as good. What's better, Padawan braids or my jacket? Too young. If they have it, wait. Believe me, a, dating a Padawan, like like is Padder wrong? Okay, um, Callie. Yeah. You have learned of the vibe. The vibe. So now the research and the analysis, the vibe, you have a great sense of it. I would like you to investigate. This is for you to kind of fill in all the gaps, figure out precisely what you need before Frankie does her, her sort of creation and composing of sort of the transcripted pages to kind of try to rush this through. Okay. So I have six die. I'm going to spend the eight for an extra four. Okay. Wow. Now. Okay. What? You're good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So okay. You're, are you rolling 10? Yes. So you're maxed out. You can't ever have more than 10 in a thing. That's, I, this is what oh, our okay. first maxed out rolls. Way to go. Up down. All right. That's. I have. Sorry. 
Okay, I have two fives and three eights, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do what Doug did. I'm gonna spend the last five and make it four eights. Oh, you're just you're fully hammering this home. Okay, great. Yes. In that case, well done, Callie. So I just um, need a pair. You just need a pair. It would that well, yes. Oh. Uh I would get three if you can. Yeah. Cause cause it I I'd, I'd get three. I mean I'd get four if you somehow can. Oh. Um so how many do you get to roll with your Compose Create? I can roll six. Okay. So are we allowed to... I know it's five to guarantee a number. Mm -hmm. Can you do it twice? You can't do it twice for the same number. Okay. You can't You can't spend ten to turn two dice to something. Okay, okay. So, that, so then I should add some I, dice. Yes. Yes. How many? How much power do you have left? I have eleven. Okay. Um, I would like to keep five. You want to keep five, so you could you could buy three more. Got him there. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll cut you down to five. Is it possible one two three? No. So oh, I have to get a pair with this. I mean, it it is statist. Oh yeah, you have eight. Uh -huh. No, you literally could roll one is, is a different number on each one. Yeah. No. Oh, no, I have nine. Oh, you have nine. nine, then yes, you have to get at least one pair. Sorry, I thought you said you had eight. I was like, eight? If you Actually, if you roll one through eight on eight, that's more impressive. <laughs> uh, my first thing for shooting the moon. Yeah. My first four rolls for one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's very handsome. <laughs> I got three twos. You got three twos. Nice. Um, I think it'd be really funny if one of those eyes was ac accidentally a D10 and she did get one through nine. <laughs> <laughs> or, it's so, just, or it's just a really weird D8. <laughs> um, do we have any more rolls we have to get through to bring this? Like, should I, should I use my power now to add a fourth two? I would use your power now to add a fourth. Okay, then I will. Understood. <laughs> Well then. Okay then, yes. Uh, who here has power left? Out of curiosity. I have one power. Medina has one left. Okay, gotcha. So, then that feels appropriate. Um, all right. So the purple uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> now, it suddenly you guys look around and you're in the purple place. <laughs> Game ends. <laughs> we got got. Uh. Uh, Callie investigate fourth, and create. Frankie create, compose. compose fourth. So we wound up having three fourth degree successes, uh, and one of those cancels out the two seconds. So you guys still finish this with two fourth degrees over the sort of third degree overall average you needed. Well done. Give me a moment. He's gonna build something real quick. Gonna assemble a Lego figure. Oh yeah. Already, Already, yourselves. Already has it built. Oh man. So he did not, have, he did old not old. have went Margaret Circle built. No way. I like Look at how cute his pants are. <laughs> <laughs> are they Star Wars? <laughs> we'll never know. He ran away. The only time I saw, I've seen him like sprint away from the camera faster is when he had to go find those sunglasses. The sunglasses, yeah. yes. Oh my he had God. had to go get them from his car once. Do y'all remember? And yeah, we were there for like so five funny. minutes. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck, shit, fuck. He, he actually just left. Yeah. <laughs> Not coming back. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, you're in <laughs> charge of uh, Aiden's stream now. Yeah. Well. You're the lore master. <laughs> hey, you get to move into his chair now. <laughs> oh, I do love his chair. It's really smooth. <laughs> like give us, give us the QVC deets about the chair, Aaron. Ergonomic. It is black, but <laughs> it comes in other colors. Look at it spin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell us more. It has been used by... Um, I'll get my feet out of the frame. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> not for yeah, that, that's going to say behind a paywall. <laughs> Subscribers no, it's only. It's a great chair. It sells itself. I mean, we're we're almost out. Honestly... And now, Aaron, surely, surely I couldn't afford a chair like that, could oh, I? Wouldn't you believe? You can. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the answer is just no. No, you can't. <laughs> you would be right. You cannot. They're, they're Don't even look you. at it. Well, you are too poor. <laughs> Get your poor stink all over it. <laughs> okay. So, is the infomercial over? Oh, yes. <laughs> then, with that, Frankie, you very rapidly transcribe a bunch of pages. It's, it's more skeletal than typical of you guys, and yet you're all very confident that you have these key things. And, and Wednesday's looking over your shoulder and saying, that's excellent, miss. Thank that's you. just the sort of thing she would say. Thank you. So, <laughs> I will braid your hair whenever you'd like. You have so much of it. I think about it sometimes, miss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you guys believe that you have you believe that you have just skipped ahead and you have the lore and the pages to summon this person are you willing to expend yes do it absolutely lore. yes <laughs> smash that button then how, how much is it doesn't matter it's doesn't a legendary matter. character so it runs what is it a household one. budget lauren uh it we need runs one. you 480 <laughs> of your inspiration oh, oh. Nice. yeah a pittance. <laughs> and with that... <laughs> nice. Would anyone like a cup of tea, dearies? Oh, I thought that was a beer. She's like, that's Mrs. Doubtfire! <laughs> that is, I'm not Mrs. Doubtfire, I am Margaret Circle. I have tea if anyone would need to... Oh, Wednesday! Hello? Is this a room of course court I'm unfamiliar with? She says, No, Margaret, we're somewhere else. And I'm head of staff here. Oh, good for you, Derry. Ah, would you like tea? No. I see you have buns. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I'll take some tea. Ah, there you are. Hi, um. Margaret. Oh, is this chamomile? Oh, it's a, it's a sleeping draft, yes. Uh oh. Um, Hello. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Margaret um, Sackle. Yeah, I'm Connor. Um, this is how she talked, right? Right, KJ? <laughs> I, I, I will sit with any dearies who are sick or if they need any assistance. I've known them since they were wee ones, I have. Look, it, that sounds lovely. Um, so, look, your, 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 friend, your friend Wednesday will fill you, kind of like, kind of, fill you on on what's going on here um but once you kind of get your bearings we'd oh. love for you to um talk to you know a lot about course court right oh i can tell you a great many things about the course family and course court of course can you imagine her trying to talk with the other lore masters about important shit oh oh how exciting these places sound well i'll tell you about how course court was built on the coast of devon yeah, so there, there are other, so you know we a lot about where We once did a tea from. service for a baron. <laughs> you don't say. I do. Do you have any, have any honey? Ah, oh no, but I can find some Wednesday and Wednesday says, ah, ah, there is some honey over here, miss. She has it to Margaret. Ah, here you go, dearie. And an extra scoop to for being sweet. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> We have we have some other people here who uh, also know a lot about where they're from, and we, once you get settled in, you know, I assume that will be a pretty quick process for you. We'd love for you to talk to them and kind of compare notes. Oh, why will it be a quick process? I'm I'm used to course court. I'm not familiar with this building. Well, but you'll I assume you'll be spending a lot of time in course court. In oh, are we near course court? And Wednesday says, "Not our course court, but a better one." Oh, it's not as empty, but the people in it are more interesting. Oh, wonderful! New guests. As a, as a devoted staff member, I love having guests. Anyway, make make <laughs> yourself at home. Wednesday, don't don't let Tatiana do her weird. Oh no, no, thing. no, Miss. Okay. She's a staff member. You said she belongs to me. Well, um. <laughs> <laughs> you can show her around. Yes. Yep. Chopping onions. And then she, uh... <laughs> she, 
she will uh, she will go down and oh what a, oh hello sir and the professor's like oh, oh wait they summoned another one hi hello um and uh, they head over and oh is that a little fairy be well oh my well what magical <laughs> oh and no. somehow I'm... she makes me very grateful for Wednesday. Wednesday kind of stiff Wednesday looks back at all of you as the doors close and just the look on her face is one of finally more staff. <laughs> um <laughs> Look, they're they're wearing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, but she needs white gloves. No, she doesn't. A kitchen maid does, but she doesn't. Okay. Would you like tea? Would you like me to cut something? No! But if you can for the kitchen, it would be great. All right, I will. Are you sure you don't want tea? I will have tea, thank you. Would you like cream or sugar? No. I'll mute us. This, this is giving very big. <laughs> did you see me playing with my dolls? No, I did not see you playing with your dolls, sir. <laughs> well, with that, um, a few things have happened tonight. Yeah. How do we feel? About your time in in, uh, in Hampstead Hall tonight. Like I need a small oh. drink. Understood. Well then, with that, we will end tonight's session. Um, and I say thank you to all of you for playing. Um, as far as your goals for next week, it seems like you guys are ser- searching for lore masters once again. Is that is that correct, or are you trying to do an Aeneas based thing to help Aeneas? Me. Ah, uh, I don't know. I. Maybe we should focus on getting all of the lore masters because he did say that it might like open up some information, which I don't know if that's actually relevant to that. But I have a feeling it might be a bad thing. I'd rather have more knowledge than less less knowledge. So should we do a should we do a lore master centric thing? At some point we will do a. I should say this one. At some point, we will do a sexy week. A sexy book fair. I was about to say, se- yeah. We'll yeah. do the sexy book fair. And I'm it's summoning just- oh, Iron yeah. Man and Iceman. <laughs> Can I ask? Please. What rarity is Haldir? Haldir is a brand new character to have been added, so I haven't determined that yet. Oh. Um, he is a, I will say, however, he's going to be a rather foundational character for um for that domain um or for that for that setting always been a foundational character that is very true he is the main character um yeah. so hall deer would probably be he would he would certainly be fabled um you know it's kind of an it's sort of an interesting question because like like the higher rarity i make him the more you know, if I make him super high rarity, that means he'll be, like, more powerful, but also he's harder to get. Um, so he would be either fabled or legendary. And we can get his bar, too. Hald- you should get Haldir's bar from the newly started uh, Mystic Seaport. Mystic Seaport? <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Starport, our new game that started uh, last night. The what Viridian about the oiled, right oiled up variant? The oiled up Haldir variant you could certainly get. Um, wow. And if people want to skip... Does it come with the car? God, I might honestly... The car. Or with the with the racer? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You could you can get the oil of variant, but that would be a separate item you'd have to get. This is racer. Um, if you guys want Haldir, though, uh, I would say... God. I might... I really might break my rule and start allowing Lego sets to get stuff in-game. Like, me getting Lego sets in real life might start getting you things in-game, because I'm a I'm a bad person with no morals. Because <laughs> I just, I just bought, I just bought the smaller Millennium Falcon today. You did get it? I, I bought it. Well, I, I bought it because it was only at the Pacoima Target, so I ordered it for pickup at the Pacoima Target, and then two hours later, I got the email, and they said we don't have it. They said, but we'll ship it to you for free, and it'll be there Wednesday. And I said, better in Amazon because they won't have it to me for two weeks. So I am going to get that to build the Outrider. So the point is, I need more Legos. So um, if we buy you Legos, we get more characters. We finally 
Yeah, we may we might we may finally break down the the barriers and just have this be an actual an actual. Uh, Hell yeah, game. baby! This was the long con. This is all you wanted. Yeah, I wanted beginning. I wanted to not do it at the outset, but then Philip's like, yeah. oh, I simply couldn't allow you to <laughs> buy me Legos. Well, I think oh. it's that I think it's that I bought a bunch of Legos and I still want Legos. <laughs> Docking. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, well, okay, so, and also, uh, when you were, when you stepped away, uh, we did mention that we're going to do, it won't be this week, but I did, like, Doug was asking for the hunk and the hottie at some point, and KJ was like, I was about to say this, at some point we'll, we'll do a sexy book fair. I feel great about it. Yeah, there will be a sexy book <laughs> fair, we all the sexy characters. Yes! Just, like, the steamiest covers. No! You know what it'll be? It'll be a book fair where all the books are behind like those like black pieces of plastic. So like you can't see the covers. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you're like, oh my god, what's on the covers? And then you look and you're like, that's not even that bad. And then you'll find one and you're like, Jesus Christ. Whoa. Is that where we'll find Tiffany Stiff? Yes. <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> Stiff. Name. That was Tiffany Stiff. Here's the thing about Tiffany Stiff. She's so cute and petite. She's so small. Like, she doesn't even fit into normal clothes. Like, she has to get costumes from the dog section. What? She's just so tiny. Yep. So this happened because... For... Why the dog section? I feel like at least the toddler section would be more fitting. Let me tell you why. Because on the actual stream, I wore my dog's hot dog costume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what answer I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't that one. <laughs> this is from reality. Yeah. Uh -huh. from reality. Huh, you laugh, but in real life. Okay. I wore my dog's hot dog costume and his cowboy costume. A hot dog should be brought in from outside if it's too hot for the poor animal. I love animals and people and things and places. Thank you. He loves <laughs> nouns, really. Just all nouns. But also oh. verbs and many adverbs, but not adjectives. Adjectives are lazy writing. Uh, Aaron, I actually had another name in mind, but then like five minutes before we started, I was like, no, 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 Tiffany Stiff. Love Tiffany it. Stiff. Love it. And to this day, that is my favorite name that I've come up with. Yes. I'm just <laughs> Tiffany Stiff's a good name. Well, everybody, thank you so much. This was super fun. Um, we do not have a gray in the dark tomorrow. Uh, we are still uncertain about uh, Star Trek on Wednesday. I will try. I know some people are probably like, hey, can you give me an answer on that? And uh, we will see how people are feeling uh, ASAP. Um, maybe we'll play. Otherwise, that may might wait until next month. Although I guess we could do two weeks this month. You know, to, we'll see how it goes. Uh, on Friday, we'll be back with Blood from a Stone where things are hitting up. Heating up and hitting up. Hit me up. It's heating up. What was that weird? Hey, what was that thing about that guy just saying a poem in here? That was weird, right? That was a weird mm -hmm. moment. What was that about? Beth and Ava, he was speaking, he was speaking the Shadow Elf language. Shadow yeah. Elf? Ancient Shadow Elf? Hey, what's the hey, what's that tag about Shadow Elves? Does, did you look that up, Dan? What's the tag on Shadow Elves in this game? The what is tag it, Dan? On Shadow Elves, yeah, the tag on Shadow Elf is you are unaffected by purple mist. That's interesting. Um, so anyway, um, and then anyway, so some stuff on Blood from yeah, Stone Lord, about how yeah. the, the mist walkers have blood. Uh, yeah, that was weird. Anyway, um, so, um, <laughs> And then on Sunday, though we just did have our fantastic first session of Mystic Starport uh, on Sunday starting our new Star Wars game, this Sunday we're back to the dragon game. So come check us out for that. Is that's going to alternate. Either every other Sunday is going to be dragons and Star Wars. Dragons and Star Wars and dragons, oh my. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. This was awesome. Um, anybody want to uh, plug anything or say anything? Well, we do want to say thank you to Brenninger for oh. giving out five community subs tonight. Oh that's my gosh, thank you so much. We love that. Thanks. Much appreciated. Um, I have been streaming, as many of you in the chat know. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm mostly playing like horror games just because I, I'm anxious, so I might as well challenge that and just use flooding to help me get over my fears. But it's a, a lot of fun. Uh, Thursday nights at 7 or 7.30 are my solid days, but I will pop onto my stream sometimes in the middle of the night, sometimes in the middle of the day. So if you follow my channel, you might see me randomly, but definitely on Thursday nights. There you go. Um, so, will you be doing tomorrow night because of no, because there's no gray this Tuesday or not for sure? Potentially. Gotcha. I haven't decided. Understood. I've got a lot going on. <laughs> but I might do tonight. Uh, Who knows? That's an understatement. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. D Dan, 
if you have oh he's talking to his people perfect so uh thank you all so much uh, this was amazing um until next time class dismissed <laughs> <laughs>